que era a X-Ray, é Long Pass. My antenna from Europe, Long Pass from Australia. Uh, 59, 5 by 9 in Brazil, 73 Dennis. Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now, a while back, I featured a rather neat little pie hat called the Radio Berry, which was designed by Papa Alpha 3 Golf Sierra Bravo. Now, this pie hat is a fully fledged HF SDR transceiver covering all of the HF band and all those in between. Now, not only does it receive, but it also transmits. Now, after such a long time of this project being pretty much stagnant because of the availability of the FPGA chips, someone has come along and manufactured a newer version of the much loved Radio Berry project. Now, this version is unlike any of the previous versions which can be clearly seen by the components on the board compared to the older versions that we've seen. Now this redesign by Justin Peng has actually been around for a couple of years and was redesigned because of a short circuit on the original Radio Berry boards, which has now been fixed, I must add. This redesign has laid out the components and PCB tracks in a more robust fashion and you'll also be pleased to learn that this redesign board is open source with the Gerber and schematic files available to anyone on GitHub. Now I'll link below for those that are interested. This newest design has been sent to Johan, the original designer of the Radio Berry. And I have been told that this latest design will also be added to the official Radio Berry GitHub page. Now the AD9866 chip that's on the board can get quite warm when in use. So a direct 5 volt output has been provided on the board if you want to connect a fan. Now the Radio Berry sits on top of a Raspberry Pi 4 and can be used standalone with a touchscreen running Pi HP SDR, or you can use it just like any other SDR over the network using software such as SDR Console or Thetis. The Radio Berry does have two antenna connections, one for receive and one for transmit. So if you want to build this into an HF transceiver, you'll need to design your own way of using a single antenna. The Radio Berry does not contain any band filters either, but it is compatible with the N2 ADR filter board that's used with the Hermes Light 2. Now the output power from the Radio Berry is extremely small, we're talking milliwatts here. But there was a preamp board designed that provided a 5 watt output and it also took care of that port switching, but these boards are nowhere to be seen commercially. However, that doesn't stop someone taking the designs and making a run of them. Hopefully that won't be too long away. The Radio Berry neatly sits on top of the Pi 4 and it takes all its power from the Pi. So if you're using one, just make sure that you use an adequate power supply when using the Radio Berry. The software installation is pretty simple. Start off with a blank SD card and use the Pi Imager to image an SD card. Now, if you're going to define some parameters before writing the card, just ensure that the user is called Pi and nothing else. This will make things easier when it comes to installing the software later on. Now, the FPGA is programmed directly from the Pi, from the software that will load. Now, following the installation instructions are pretty easy, and there are only a few lines of code as there is a pre written installation script available. Now, one word of warning before running the installation script make sure that the Pi's OS is fully up to date. Now this includes running the apt update command to make sure everything installed is the latest versions. This will make compiling and running that installation script run a lot smoother. So once you've done this, go ahead and follow the installation instructions. Now for simplicity, I have my radio berry attached to the Pi's header, a power supply plugged in, an ethernet connection connected to my router, and an antenna on the receive port. So once the installation is completed, you can simply just reboot it and load up your SDR software on your computer. Now in my case, I'm gonna be testing with SDR console. You'll need to configure a definition and use the search facility to find the radio berry. Now there is no specific dropdown for the radio berry in SDR console. So just choose the Hermes light selection. Now, if all went well, you should be able to add a new radio definition. Once set, click the start button and you should now be receiving. Okay, Roger Christoph. Uh, 
this is Papa Alpha for Echo November returning for Delta Lima stroke Sugar Queen 8 November Ocean Delta. Okay, thank you, good luck. London Yankee 90 Delta Gold. Okay, Oscar November 4, Charlie Golf Charlie. Your 5910 DB over 9, is that Roger? Oscar Nancy 4, Charlie Golf Charlie, thank you, good evening, tip 9 also. Roger, Papa Yankee 4, Japan Whiskey, Yankee Oscar 3, Alpha Echo Kilo 5, 9 plus 5 DB, QSL. Yes, sir, my friend, thank you very much, 73. Bye bye, 73. Sierra X ray. Victoria Kilo number four, Sierra X ray. Victor Kilo four, Sugar X ray, you're back. Thank you, sir. Radio America 3 Delta Queen Papa. Hello, Mike. Nice to meet you. Thanks for the call, Mike. You can make a fine by 959 signal report. Thank you, sir. Vibra Victoria. Roger? Yeah, Roger. Sorry, you have a call. Correct, Alex. Radio Delta 3 Zulu Victoria. Thanks for the call, Alex. My name is John. You're 59 plus. Very strong signal, Alex. Now, as the radio battery supports transmitting as well as receiving, I decided to load up my SDR Uno to test my audio transmission from the radio battery. Now here's what it sounds like on 3 GHz and also 5 GHz, which is pretty great if you're into that Voodoo ESSB. This is M0 DQW, Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey, M0 DQW testing, M0 TQW testing, audio with the radio berry, M0 DQW. Okay, let's try... Uh, Let's try 5 kilohertz wide. So this is the radio berry. This is uh, M0 DQW testing the transmit on the radio berry. Uh, M0 DQW testing transmit on the radio berry at uh, 5 kilohertz wide. Uh, M0 DQW testing. Now, as mentioned earlier, the radio berry can be used standalone with a Raspberry Pi 4. All you need to do is add a touch screen. You can then install and use an application called Pi HPSDR, which runs natively on the Pi and provides a new user interface to control and use the Radio Berry. In effect, it's a complete HF SDR application that supports Transmit and runs on Linux. Now, many people have built amazing looking HF radios using the same components, whether you're using a 4 inch display or even a 7 inch display, it still looks really impressive. What you're seeing now is the screen of the RPI4 running Pi HP SDR, and I'm viewing it using VNC Viewer over the network. But that's not how you would use it in real life, so here's a little clip of the Pi HP SDR running on the Pi with a 4 inch touchscreen. I think the 7 inch screen would be a lot better, but everything does work as expected when using the smaller 4 inch screen. Of course, you would need to add a speaker and a microphone to the Pi 4 to be able to transmit and receive that audio. Now last time there was a production run of these, they sold out extremely quickly. So if you're interested in one, then don't hang around. I will leave a link to the official sellers in the description of this video. Now until the next video, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.